Hi, this is Ksenia with Rainbow Ranch Farms, and I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to repair a crack or a hole in a plastic radiator using any type of sandpaper that you have access to. Lightly sand the area that needs to be repaired. This particular radiator has a hole in it, as you can see in the very first picture uh, where I shoved that the screwdriver into the radiator hole, plus it has a crack along the top of it, so I'm going to be making a rather large repair today. So use a soft brush to brush away the debris and the dust from sanding and try not to get it inside of the hole or the crack. And you can use any kind of brush as long as it's a soft brush. I don't recommend wire brushes for this procedure. Just use an old towel that you don't need for anything else to keep that area nice and clean. So after you've sanded and brushed, just wipe it off with the towel. It's really important that this area has no debris or, or little bits of sand that can interfere with the bonding. I recommend that you use JB Plastic Weld Epoxy. Um, in this picture here, you can see this is not high temp JB Weld Epoxy. That's because the AutoZone did not have exactly what I was looking for, so I went with the next best thing. And so this is what I ended up with. It's basically a very similar product, easy to mix. So wearing protective gloves, latex or non-latex, rubber gloves, and having a small throwaway paper plate, I used my packaging material and just squeeze out as much as you need to make that repair, just eyeball it. You're going to make a thin layer, um, as thin and as even as possible. It is a rather thick product, so it's not going to be absolutely perfect. Um, just remove the cap save the cap because if there's any epoxy left over you want to be able to put the cap back on and keep it with you in your car in case you need to make an emergency repair again so this product came with a very small mixing stick uh, utensil in between the two plungers i just broke it away and i used that to mix the epoxy the both the parts of epoxy really really well but you can use anything. The only thing I don't recommend is anything that is a really thin piece of wood that can easily break off pieces. But you could use just about anything, including a hairpin. This type of epoxy dries really quickly and it's great for emergency repairs because it does dry within about five minutes in optimal temperatures. So you want to move sort of quickly here and don't let the epoxy dry out before you apply it. Don't be afraid to put it inside the hole. If you have a small hole, don't be afraid to smear it inside of the crack. It's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to stay right there, hopefully, in a perfect world. And providing that it was well sanded and cleaned, it should bond very, very nicely. These types of epoxy are designed to actually melt into the plastic. So it's causing a very strong bond. There are other options that you can look into, such as adding fiberglass um, to your repair, or uh, if, if this type of repair is not working for you, there is such a thing as plastic welding strips, and you can just purchase those and use a soldering iron to melt the plastic in, onto the radiator crack and onto the holes that you have in your plastic radiator housing that's causing these leaks. And so in my case, if this happens again or when it happens again, because obviously these types of repairs do not last forever, uh, I will be using the plastic welding uh, with the soldering iron to make a more permanent repair. So I hope that this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time.